The curtains were drawn open and the persona, spirit and life of Karima Brown was laid bare before those who only knew the ferocious and fearless journalist on their screens. Close friends and family filled the hall, celebrating and remembering the life of the late broadcaster who died of COVID-19 related complications last week. Colleagues and friends reminisced on their days of activism during the apartheid era, her commitment to media freedom and her devotion to her job even during her final days. I have two pictures in my mind of the young activist. One is Karima outside a church in Rocklands, picking up a stone and throwing it with all her might at a passing police van. The other is Karima banging a fist so hard on my round table in my kitchen in Sona End Street, arguing and fighting with Tyrone and Peter and po about politics and action and how things should be done. I wish Karima was conscious now to fight with that same force against this COVID enemy. I'm angry she's gone. I wish she caught COVID. I just wish she had stayed at home. I know that wasn't her. I know she was a social person. But we'd spoken so often about being careful. And now this huge figure in my life, in all of you, our lives, has gone. They said that um, we were eight, us, the SABC eight. But we knew there was a very loud member of the group and she was the ninth one. At times in court, I would have to calm her down because I thought that she would push aside the senior counsel and take over the reins of the argument herself. I don't know, Mikhail, how many times the three of us have sat in the High Court. And I think in this battle for media freedom, which is far from over, when I next find myself in the High Court, I will find myself haunted by the two of you. Her sense of humor was intact right till the end, even as she was facing adversity. Obviously, Karima was fundamentally a political animal. A couple of minutes after that message, I was instructed to find her a copy of the State of the Nation address. And some of my journalist friends and colleagues who are here will know because I messaged them and said, do you have a copy of the Sona? Because she wanted it. Even while she was admitted, she wanted to know what it is that the president is saying. Head of government institutions who were mostly on the receiving end of her robust reporting style also paid their respects. Karima Brown was a consummate professional. I have direct experience of being interviewed by her and my admiration for her strong research capability uh, was extremely uh, strong. She was not scared and in fact the opposite, very brave, to call out even her own colleagues in the in the profession who wittingly or unwittingly defended corruption defended the corruptors and sometimes unwittingly or wittingly advanced state capture itself and to those closest to her she was remembered for her love for food her generosity and, uh, sense of style and infectious laugh almost chatting to her laughing with her and at her because she was hilarious her laugh was the cutest, most infectious thing. And um, if I'm honest with myself, the fact that I will never hear that naughty cackle ever again really breaks me inside. I love you, mom. I miss you more than words can describe. I'm so grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better mom. Karima Brown was laid to rest at West Park Cemetery last week Thursday, shortly after her death was announced by her family that morning. She is survived by her son and five siblings. Nasipa Mnube, SBC News, Johannesburg.